I understand that, and I understand that's why you want to stay in the race, but have you convinced yourself that only you can defeat him? I convinced myself of two things. I'm the most qualified person to beat him, and I know how to get things done. It's our top story tonight. For the first time since the presidential debate, President Joe Biden sat down for an ABC News exclusive interview with George Stephanopoulos to address concerns about his future in this race. That interview was aired right here on ABC 15. Tonight, our Lillian Donahue is looking at how that interview might impact November. ABC 15's political team spoke with experts before President Joe Biden's interview about what was on the line after last week's poor debate performance. Now we're following back up with them to see if that interview made a dent. Do you have the mental and physical capacity to do it for another four years? I believe so. I wouldn't be running if I didn't think I would did. President Joe Biden says he's not leaving the race while taking questions by ABC's George Stephanopoulos after a tough debate against former President Donald Trump last week. I just had a bad night. I don't know why. President Biden has faced a rising tide of questions surrounding his age, mental state, and the future of his campaign. Some Democrats, including Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva, have called for him to drop out of the race. ABC News also reporting that Senator Mark Warner is bringing a group of senators together to talk about Biden's future. Stephanopoulos pressed on Biden's plans if party supporters asked him to bow out. If the Lord Almighty came out and said, Joe, get out of the race, I'll get out of the race, the Lord Almighty's not coming down. When asked if he would take a neurological test to calm cognitive concerns. Every day I have that test. Everything I do, you know, not only am I campaigning, but I'm running the world. You know, once you had the stumbles in the debate, you can't undo those. A debate expert tells me while it's a better showing than last month, he doesn't see this interview changing too many minds. But I don't think anything in the interview is going to calm the nerves or anxiety of those that you know, are still concerned of his 81 year uh, age and ability, stamina. Biden still determined to stay in the race. Really trying to take on the most uh, optimistic tone possible um, where you know, this uh, concern has existed since the debate and really only gotten worse. Current ABC News 538 average national polling data shows Trump up slightly over Biden after the debate. Just four months out from Election Day. Lillian Donahue, ABC 15, Arizona.